Yo, what is up guys? I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you're at and today I thought I'd go over some new Empyrean gear that King's Eyes will just implemented along with the new Kalman's revamp update. This video is gonna be pretty short just due to the nature of there being only two new items. These items were leaked a long time ago, however King Zazo didn't implement them for whatever reason so all we got were the rings and the decks from the Beastman Fight Club and the rest such as the hat, the robe, and the boots from the rest of Imperia plus the wand but we never got the athame or the amulet. So here they are. As for the amulets and the athames, they're pretty terrible and I'll start talking about it right now. Here's the thing guys, when I'm comparing it, I like to compare it with two certain items. And when I'm comparing this a theme with the other a theme, here we have two examples which would be the new dagger and the old a theme that I have equipped which would be the Tetris Kanjar of Purpose. Now when you look at both of them, they look almost too similar. I know that the level 125 one, the new one I mean, actually has a lot more health. Maybe about 70 more health and the old one has a little less damage than the new one. But the one contributing factor that we're looking at here is the sockets. And you might notice the newest one doesn't have a triangle socket for whatever reason. And that's where King's Eyes are actually screwed up there. Because if you're not having power pip chance, that means you're not gaining power pips more often than you should. And for a life school that pretty much does rely on healing to actually get through the fighting it's it's not too good that you don't have a socket for power pips or accuracy for that matter not that it really matters for life school since you have 90 or 85 depending on a new spell now for the amulet i only actually got the myth amulet you can go farm the secret tunnel if you want more of these amulets but here we can see that the new amulet gives Donate Shadow, which is a regular spell that's available from Venkman in the Shadow School in the Arcanum. So there's not really much of a point to get this amulet other than to have higher health. For Ice, I do know that it has about 480 something health or 490 something health. So it really bumps up the, the health level here. So if you or if you are an ice that wants to achieve the highest health possible, this should be the highest health amulet in the entire game as of right now, considering the fact that it also has a tear socket as well. But in a metagame defined by critical glass cannons and defensive jade turtles, this is not a very good amulet for you, considering that it's not really viable for anything. You get a little bit of resistance, but that's all it really has to offer. And that bulk isn't really justified for the for the main reason that it only has donate shadow going for it. The health can be beaten by any other amulet. You, you could just add a, a health jewel and it would just be fine. And to be honest, if we're talking about health jewel and defensive turtles, you could just use the Rasputin amulet. Heck, you can even use the arcane exile amulets from the jeweled slope bosses. Alrighty guys, that's it for this video. If you want to check out the new Athames and Amulets, you can do that and farm the secret tunnel in Imperia. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next one. And until then, take care and peace.